Okay, so his tail, last but not least, grab this bone right here. Make sure it's that bone by going in here. Yep, that's good. Uh, that's a simple E. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to go into the front view and kind of see if anything's missing. Well, it would be nice to maybe attach this to something independently. So maybe I'm going to think down the road and hit E to extrude a bone out just right there. And maybe those can be my arm pads. I probably definitely want some more rigging in the facial area. Again, that's down the road. I'm just thinking out loud here. And uh, what I want to do is hit X-ray and kind of see if everything sits within that mesh quite well. So I'm going to hit 7. Ooh, look how nice that is. Fits right in there. <laughs> All right, now, how do you bind the mesh to the bones? Okay, so if I go into object mode, click on him, click on the bone, the root, hit, I think it's control P, and say armature. So that's control P on the keyboard. There's another way to do this, but so it's too freaking complex so control P works really well so I want armature and I want to create from he bone heat okay now <laughs> now the fun stuff okay so let's go into pose mode here and let's go on the mesh and let's go into paint weight mode <laughs> yep paint weights Gotta love them. Okay, another thing is maybe I want to be able to see my bones. So I have to go all the way back to my bones. So I have to switch out back to object mode just to grab my bones and turn those back to x ray. Also, I want to put them as something different like sticks because at least sticks I can get in here on the mesh. Uh, with these big old oxoctorons, these are kind of hard to kind of see. You got B bones, they're even harder to see. You got envelopes, which are impossible. So sticks, at least, you know, they're not so bad. And then you could display your axes if you want. You notice the axes are just perfect because I did that right click method. Uh, I could put the bone names out there if I wanted to. Again, all these features are just wonderful. You know. If only Maya had a few of these. Now, I can't ditch Maya because I love Maya too much. But I'm saying that if Autodesk just put a little bit more time and effort and looked at maybe Blender as some some of the little basics that are missing, oh, it'd be so powerful to have some of this in Maya. Like, I would love to have uh, bone names just displayed just with a little tiny button like that. And it's probably doable. It's probably in Maya, but it just feels so... So right there, uh, the mirror axes, I know that doesn't exist in Maya. That would be nice. Rather than hitting the mirror axes button, it just does it real time. Okay, so enough complaining. Let's uh, now have this still in pose mode. And then let's go back to the mesh. And then put that in weight paint mode. And here's how it works. So I can click on a bone. And I can hit R on the keyboard, and I can rotate that. And you can see how awful that is, right? Okay. R on the keyboard. Awful. So 
So I'm only going to fix one arm here and show you how it works. Because it's going to take me a while to get them, get them all working correctly. You can see that kind of works well. Right in that area. That's not too bad at all. In fact, that's perfect. Uh, so let's see what happens here. So a little bit too much influence right there on that object. So here is what you can do. In edit mode, I can hide stuff. And I did this a lot with doing UVs. So if I hit L on the keyboard, it grabs this. Okay. And what I can do is go select inverse of that and hit hide. That way I'm only working with one piece at a time. Now I can go back to weight paint mode. Oh, they fixed it so that don't work anymore. That's not good. Okay, well, all right. So here we go, weight painting mode. Uh, what you could do here is you want weight at you know a certain interval based on bones. So right here, this thing would probably be a one based on this bone. And I could just kind of paint that in. It's not too bad. I could, I've seen much worse programs. Okay, the hand looks relatively good. And again, real time, you know, I can grab this real quick, hit R, and see how that's working. And now that it's off to the side like this, you know, I can kind of maybe paint some weights in there too. Okay, now I got an idea. What I'm going to do is set a key on my timeline and bind these bones to that key. That way I can move the bones around and not feel bad about it. And here's how that's done. Split area. Let's put a timeline out there. Okay. We're going to grab all these bones in object mode. Hit an A. And then we're going to put a key on one by hitting I on the keyboard. And we want location, rotation, and scale. We're going to key it all. Okay, now why I did that, and you can see all these keys magically appear. Uh, why I did that is this. Let's say I'm in paint weight mode. Okay, so let's toggle back out to a different object. Go back into paint weight mode. Now when I move this and I rotate it, okay, I can simply go back to my timeline and back it up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so there we go. And uh, so what we do is now paint some weights, blah, blah, blah. Come think about it, I just want everything on that one joint. Okay, so now I'm going to just rotate it around, see how that works. Ooh, nice. Okay, so if I want to move it back to the original, there it is. Snaps right back. So I'm going to paint some bones, and this is how you do it. Like, here's one for absolute red, is hard as rock, and then zero is absolutely no influence whatsoever. So what I'm just going to do is go in here and rotate a few of these, see if they look okay. And I can always tweak this stuff after the fact. I mean, I don't have to get it all done right now. Um, it's, it's 
it's one of those things. So I'm just going to get this arm done, and then I'm going to make an event where he's just waving. Okay, so that is to come, and let me paint some weights, and I'll be right back.